Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here with Peterson Electric. Um, wanted to show you this here. We just wired up um, about a 4,000 square foot home today. Um, put in our MA right here with our male slip sleeve and um, went ahead and made up. This is a main disconnect. Their meter, see the way that porta potty is way down there? That green building here. Well, that right there next to it is the meter. We're feeding up to this. I'm just using this right now to test the house. So we do we do something a little bit more unique than probably most electricians. We come off of the temp with a number four four wire SO cord, and we hook it up live and turn everything on. I like to do that because I like to check before everything is drywalled that everything is working. And. Um, coming into here we made up in the panel as well everything at the rough end and tested it so I like to make sure that my SCR cable is good I like to take a video of everything and then I like to go through the house and turn on all the lights so when I make up all of my plugs I actually use two three four and six four connectors and I kite everything through at the beginning of my roughen. So when I come back to trim out, all I have to do is just do two wires and stab the device. But as you can see, this port connector, it allows me to tie it through. And then it basically allows me, as I label, I know where the end of my circuit is. And the end of the circuit for this circuit, for example, is in this box. Okay. And then when I know it's in that box and I end, I can check my power and my cans. So we lit up the whole house with our can lights. We just went ahead and put in light bulbs. And then we put up keylesses where the ceiling fans or the bar vanity or the pendants go in the kitchen or the dining nook as well here, this, this chandelier. Um, ceiling fan in the top of the vault. Um, so we tied everything through. We checked all our power. Even, for example, our cooked up that's stubbing up in the bottom of an island. Um, I like to make sure this is on. I will kill that temp power tonight when I leave and pull the cord. But again, I like to make sure everything's on. I did have a nice basement just uh, last week. I've been doing this um, testing of the circuits before drywall goes up for the last 12 years on my own. Every time I've done a kitchen remodel or a small bathroom to even just a whole basement or whole house. Um, we actually just last week had a framer put in a nail right through my 14-4 wire. So I had a black, white, and a red, and a red, white. He hit the black perfectly right through and broke it. Uh, had the neutrals okay and the red was fine, but I just couldn't figure out why eight cans weren't lit. And then finally when I traced it out and found the broken wire as I was pushing on the cable, uh, all the way back to the panel, it lit up. Um, and so we had to take that into the furnace room and make two splices and splice it through and back in. Um, but that's the reason why I do that. Um, the other thing that we like to do on our rough ends is we like to, um, just, just for you guys out there that are doing your own home, we like to take just some yellow paint and we hit all of our 14 uh, gauge wire, 15 amp circuits right here. For, in, for instance, in the kitchen, if it's a 20 amp uh, or a 30 amp or a 50 amp, we just tag it with red, okay? That way, when I'm coming through and I'm marking all my home runs, home run means from that point all the way back to the panel. So for example, um, I ran a 12-4 right here. Well, the tricky thing about 12-4 is that that extra wire gets you over your count on a single gain box, and even though it's deep with the fiberglass. Um, I just put in a two gain here, and this is behind the fridge. So this allowed me to jump and do the fridge and the nook circuit down below and to hit that circuit, and then it had allowed me to go this way with another 12 gauge to go down and then hit the island. Um, so I split that circuit. I also split the circuit here in the kitchen counter. And then I hit the washer right here, back to back. I brought a 12 4 to the washer uh, because that washer didn't have an out. So make sure you watch your volume count for your boxes, how many wires are going in and out. Um, Again, the other thing we like to do here, when we're labeling, this 12-4 came into this bathroom. This one right here went down to the furnace because it's right below here. 
So I put inside this box furnace, and then right here you'll see that I put HR home run number 124, and I put red white as the furnace, and then I put black and white is gonna be my bath. So my bath receptacles will jump from here to there to there. So when I go to the panel to label, I label each thing that says uh, the red and white was the furnace versus the black and white, and I don't get them mixed up. Um, another thing to think about that she brought up, I've had uh, service calls where steamers, when they're steaming their clothes in their closet, especially a closet this big, it pops the circuit if it's on a normal lighting circuit. So we brought a dedicated home run to the closet for a steamer, and we jumped down and hit her air jetted bubble tub right here. And uh, we just went right under the floor. But again, I tagged it right here. And this will get covered up with drywall, that's fine. But inside my box, I put HR home run, and then I'll put on their jet tub, and I'll try to write. I know sometimes they like to overspray with their painting, but um, I'll make a map of what I did too, is how the circuits ran. Um, so I hope this will help you guys to see. Uh, the other thing I do is I do stacks. I like to do these stacks like a lot of electricians are doing nowadays. These are really nice. We used to have to staple. This kind of turned out fine for the back side of this. But as you come up a wall, the inspectors accept these now. I actually prefer them. Okay. Don't forget your fire cocking in your holes penetrating between uh, floor and ceilings. Um, other than that, this circuit had 40, uh, 40 circuits. This house did. Um, oh, the other thing I would suggest for you to do, as um, especially if you're a homeowner, if you're attempting to do your own house wiring, um, good luck. Um, but um, other than that, we made a list of all of our home runs. I take a picture of this, but by the time I'm done, this matches exactly what my panels did over there. And this place actually had, um, I think we used 2,000 feet of number 14.2. I used 1,000 foot of number 14.3. 14.3 is not really allowed much in a house as far as doing multi-branch circuits, home runs, but it is allowed for switch receptacles, um, ceiling fans. Uh, we use it for bathroom fan light combos. We use it for um, switch, uh, switch receptacles. Uh, down in the basement when you're doing um, power through the lighting to hit a receptacle on the back side um, and then you're doing the red as the switch leg. We did that in the garage as well. We used um, I think about close to half a roll of 250 foot of 10-3. 12-2 um, we used 500 feet. 12-4 for home runs we did 250 foot and um, 6-4, well, 6-3 with the ground, we used a lot of that. We had the range for cooktop, boy, the, I had to repull that, that was wrong. We thought we, she was going 30 amps, but she bought a Viking 36 inch, which was 45 amps. So it has to be a six gauge for the cooktop. Um, then she also had two sub panels, and then an AC that was running 40 amps to 45. So we ran a 6.3 on that. So she had five home runs of 6.3. So my thought is I used about 250 foot of 6.3. And um, out here is how our panel made up. And I like to label at the top as I pull in my home runs across. I like to keep my colors separated. It's just my way I do things. You don't have to do that. And when I make up, I try to make it up very neat. Um, I know it's a little messy there. Sorry about that with the pigtails. I had to swap two breakers there. Um, but yeah, all of these AFCI, GFCIs now. So this is an AFCI, this is a GFCI. This is a dual action, which has a baby blue. So AFCI and GFCI. And you can see how many of these fill up now real quick. Um, mostly just my 240 volts didn't have it. I label even right here on my wires. I put a light above here just because I prefer to have one light above my panel in a situation like this. Let me show you the office upstairs. Oh, um, the Uford ground is over here. That's UFRD. And that 
came across. They left me a piece of rebar. I'm sorry I can't show you because the cabinet guys today buried me. But it's right down there. It's just a piece of rebar sticking out with a U on it. And um, I bonded that with a number four bare copper all the way down and into the panel. Two ground rods, inner system um, bridge bar for your Comcast low voltage or whatever you do, your coax. Um, downstairs, again, this is another example of a 14.3 wire. You're going to use it for your three ways, your four ways, and your five ways. In this house, I actually had three three ways. I had uh, um, two four ways and one five way. A five way is an example of going um, to the back porch, to the master bedroom, to the entry, and then over to the kitchen. That's a five way. We had one of those for the, the living room can lights. Um, down here, yeah, we just took a 14 three all the way through. The coat states we have to have one outlet on the back side of the house an outlet on the front side of the house, and then the AC unit has to have an outlet within 25 foot of that AC unit as well. Um, the other thing that we did is right here, he actually turned this into a safe. Um, this is going to be kind of this panic room, and this is right underneath the front porch where they, they fill in dirt, so right where the front door comes in. Um, they asked for power in here, so we just used our heat box and drilled the header before they pour the cement and, and uh, bent that piece of PVC Schedule 80 coming down and then put in our switch and our plug and then came back up and over. Um, to code, this doesn't have to be here, but we did it anyways. Again, I like to test my circuits just all the way through. I'm not sure I even lit up that circuit. Oh, I didn't. Well, anyways, I can test it right here. I didn't tie my switch leg together. So I like to make sure power is good through here because otherwise if it's not and I did something wrong, I'll get to core hold that uh, wall and they'll make me pay for that. So again, I got that PVC put in there. And I got a bushing on the end of that, so this flops in, and we brought that through to this light. Um, they did a sub panel down here, because they requested it, because they're going to build up the basement later. Just 50 amp, number 6-4. Right down here, plug at the end of the stairway to code. Smoke detector up here. Three-way up and down these stairs. I'll show you the office real quick. It's a nice little feature they put above the garage. It made it real difficult getting all that garage drilled out, that's for sure. Just, we put in, um, we ran up a 14.3 to these garage door plugs, and then we ran a 14.2 over to control the lights for this, the four, three LED strip lights we're putting in. Remember, on the back side of each man door, you've got to have a light and a switch. Um, this is the four-way. It goes from here to there to down that hallway. That does the can lights. There's a three-way coming up the stairs. We went ahead and put in an outlet. You don't have to decode, but in my opinion, that stairway is fairly long for most vacuum cords. This has got a short ceiling in here. It's about seven, well, six and a half, seven feet. This is going to be their office. Ran them a dedicated circuit right here to this plug because her desk is going here. She's got a large cop here. It had a dedicated circuit in that area. Um, this is called a mini split. Heat and AC unit. Interesting, you have to run power all the way down to the mini split. Go into a disconnect. Let me show you that real quick. And then you got to come out of the disconnect and go all the way back up. And that was rated at 25 amp max load on the breaker. But as you can see, there's a disconnect there, and below that is an orange cord. And we went ahead and got flex back in there because that's going to, power's coming out of that AC, coming back up to control that fan. And so we had to run the power back through. That's why it's got two cables in and out. Um, 
put a sub panel here. Later, they may put in the kitchen, they said right here, turn into mother-in-law suite. So we put in a panel up here, 50 amp, again, 6.4. Um, again, AFCI breakers. We tested all of our circuits before drywall goes up, and we do a video. That's it, guys. Um, hopefully, I'll help you out. This is a nice size project that we did over the Memorial Weekend, and uh, my wife and I just did it by ourselves. Thanks.